Six Towns Radio. Amazing local presenters. And the best local DJs. Okay, listeners, it is a moment you've all been waiting for this afternoon. We told you Elvis would be in the building. Well, we've had to shut Burzum off today. The limo is outside. Elvis is, in fact, in the building. Along with Lisa Law, and we've got Stevie down here. We're going to be talking about One Night with Elvis. It's this Saturday night at the Guildhall in Cheadle. It's only £6 to go down there. £3 for kids, as well as... One night with Elvis. We've got Pixie, Shania Twain, Izzy T, and also Priscilla. Cassandra playing Priscilla. And we're going to get the guys talking to you after this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I have got with me in the studio right now. We've got Jason Dale. As Elvis, how are you doing, mate? Okay. Very, very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> how are you, mate? You okay. Very well, Terry. How are you? I'm, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. Uh, I've known Jason for 15 years, I'd say. Yeah, around that. It's got to be 15 years. Wow. 15 years. It's gone so quickly, hasn't it? Really? Crikey. Yeah. We brought the millennium in. Yes, we Forget did. Forget all the fireworks you saw you know, <laughs> around the world. Me and you brought the millennium in. North Staff's Hotel. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, got quite a good pay packet. I'm glad I went in for that. Because <laughs> what it was with the Millennium, um, everyone booked up dead early thinking that it was going to be the biggest event and it was a bit of a washout, but we had a good night. We had we? a great night, yeah. it was fantastic, really enjoyed it. Also in the studio, Lisa Lawton, how are you doing? I'm okay, thank you, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, yeah. And Stevie as well, hello Stevie. Hiya. <laughs> you alright, you alright? So we're down to talk about this gig, I'm really excited about it. All this has been talking about, it is One Night with Elvis, uh, the spectacular show with Jason Dale, we've got Shania Twain. Izzy T, 
Priscilla Presley. Is it the Guildhall Cheadle? Tell us a little bit about it first of all, Jason. Okay, well, uh, Lisa Lawton here invited me around five or six months ago to do a show for the Donna Louise Trust. Uh, now, Donna Louise, based down at Trentham at Treetops, is a... Uh, uh, her son uh, Liam is resident there and uh, they've uh, really looked after and cared for him for the last uh, couple of years so we agreed to do the show which is uh, obviously this coming Saturday and it's been a really it's been an exciting time you know it's really starting to gather momentum now and pick up and Lisa's worked so hard in organising and uh, dealing with you know the likes of yourself and the media and whatnot, and we're really looking forward to it yeah so I saw Lisa last week at the Don Louise uh, Hospice um, uh, with Liam Yes, that was, yes. Uh, Rory Delap was down there, the Stoke play, having some photographs taken for rainy days. And you had loads of photographs taken, didn't you, Lisa? Yes, a very hot, yes. <laughs> it was a very hot day, wasn't it? A very hot day. Yeah. But it, it's all for a good cause. If we can help in any way, we'll help them in every way we can. Yeah, so how long has Liam been going to the, the hospice? He's been going since just before he turned one, so mm-hmm. it'll be nearly three years now. Yeah. He's coming up to four in five weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big smile as well. Oh. <laughs> he likes to pose for the camera. Yeah, so a, bit yeah. of a, a bit of a pose on the photographs. Yes, there. We've got some is. brilliant photographs on our website. So, yeah, it's it's an amazing uh, charity. We uh, at Six Sounds Radio and myself uh, throughout KD have done quite a lot of events, but it costs so much to keep that place running, doesn't it? Yeah, um, 2.4 million a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the government gives so much, but... Without us, the families and people out there, they wouldn't be able to be open. So I became a volunteer fundraiser about 18 months ago now, so I do my own fundraising just so I can give them something back. Yeah, yeah. Um, You know, when you look at all these charities out there, you know, there's people behind the scenes that are constantly doing work, you know, like yourselves, you know, Mm -hmm. the volunteers and the shops and the people collecting. We met some at OK Day, you know, who just love it because it's a great cause. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? And there's so many good stories that have come from Don and Louise, you know, I hear them all the time. So this event... Um, it's not the first event you've put on, is it? You, didn't you do a sponsored walk, I think? Was the yeah, first that you was... I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Two it was years. about two years ago, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went from Froggle Wharf to Consul and we raised nearly uh, £500. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's about 20 family and friends members that took part in it. Yeah, uh, and it all counts, it all counts. Um, so on the night... Um, it's uh, six pounds for adults to go in there, three pounds for kids. Um, wh- what other ways are you going to be raising money on the night on Saturday? Um, we've also got an absolutely amazing raffle, and mm-hmm. um, we've got some amazing prizes. Um, I'll give you the top three. Um, the first prize is a signed child's stoke top and signed program by all the players and manager. The second is two autumn tapas tickets plus three free driving lessons. Mm-hmm. And the third one is a £10 meat voucher donated by Heath Butchers and three driving lessons. Oh, that's, great. that's just some of them, but there's yeah. loads more. Plus, we also have a silent auction, mm-hmm. which is a three-foot signed um, Mike Tyson canvas that we've kindly been donated by PPS Security, which are our main sponsors of the night. Mm-hmm. That's brand. That's brilliant, that is brilliant. Well, I want to add to that. I've got for you a couple of things you could probably uh, put into your raffle. I've got a signed photograph of Phil Taylor. You can have that. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you you very much. Get a frame for that, that'd be quite nice. I'll pass it over to you. And also, from Coronation Street, Anthony Cotton signed DVD. Thank you very much. A couple of things for you. Thank I'm you I'm very amazing. much. But if, if it raises a couple of quid, you know what I mean, it's all all into the pot. But you, That's you, absolutely you amazing, that, you know thank I mean? you. You put that in. So, obviously, Jason Dale, you've been doing this for a while now, haven't you, mate? Yes, uh, very much so. Um, it's great fun. We meet a lot of great people. We do get involved in a lot of charities, mm-hmm. uh, but it's all good fun. You know, with meeting people like yourself, Terry, behind the scenes, it's good fun as well. You know, mm-hmm. we have to make deadlines, but we do enjoy it, and uh, there's always, you know, good fun to be involved to be had and music to be sung it's mm-hmm. great yeah so you the Vegas Elvis that's yes. the um, period of time that you cover I do yeah. uh, and uh, that's the time when he got into the banana sandwiches wasn't it the fried banana <laughs> sandwiches I've got the complete recipe if you like the top of maple <laughs> <laughs> was it peanut butter it was, banana uh, fried? it was basically a French stick cut yeah. into cut along sideways basically and then fried in Three quarter inch of butter, mm-hmm. uh, along with uh, fried peanut butter, fried banana, oh. 
uh, strawberry jam, which the Americans call jelly, strawberry jelly, yeah. basically, with uh, crispy bacon. Mm -hmm. It's put on top. Oh. All put on. Uh, have you ever tried? Would you like to try one? Uh, possibly not. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like a month's worth of calories in one <laughs> meal. <laughs> but they were actually. The truth was, Elvis never sat and ate a whole one mm -hmm. French stick. They were cut up for the members of the band and the mafia and whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah, really nice though. You c I've done it once. Yeah. But I like to keep, you know, I have to keep fit for the shows and. See, <laughs> you, you know, I'm a big Elvis fan anyway, yes, and I, I, I suppose the comeback and the Vegas years were favourite. The jumpsuit years, yeah. I like to call them. Yeah, I the love the jumpsuits. Jumpsuit. I tend to do 1968, which is the comeback yep. to 71, 72. Mm -hmm. It suits my, I don't know, voice range, physique. It, it all seems to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I enjoy that period. I think, well, the ladies are. Like that period, too. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's the showman definitely. years as well because yes. you know, he did a lot of touring yeah. then and like yeah, he was very, very, very fit mm -hmm. uh, yeah. at his peak, really. And uh, he was very, he was still very hungry, uh, you know, to make this. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, did you do the kung fu moves as well? I do, yeah. Oh, I yeah. used to do kung fu when I was very young and um, I got up to uh, only a yellow belt, but uh, I still remember the main moves and I sometimes throw it in. It's difficult <laughs> because the heels I wear, are like, I'm standing at six foot four. The heels I've got are two and a half inches, <laughs> so you've got kind of a forced walk. And if you do the kung fu, you, there's been a few. You pull a few muscles occasionally, and it doesn't. You don't feel it until after the show, Terry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, the Guild Hall in Cheetah, is, is it a place that you've been to before? Do you know all about this place? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have all my son's parties there. Okay. We've had weddings there, family dues, but it's a fantastic venue. Mm -hmm. Very big place. How many people does it hold, roughly? It holds around 300. Oh, so it's going to be a bumper crowd then. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. So We've definitely got over the 100 mark at the moment. Mm -hmm. With more to come. That's that's really good. Well, we can keep pushing it this week, um, but yeah, let's talk about some of the other people on the bill because, like, <laughs> the people you've worked with as well, Jason. Yeah, uh, tell us all about them. We've got uh, a Shania Twain tribute by uh, Sammy Joe, who's known as Pixie when she performs. She's fantastic, great fun, great performer. Uh, we've got a really nice natural country mm -hmm. rock type vocal, and uh, she'll be on. Uh, she's you know performing as support and. Uh, We've got a dance team called Principal, which is uh, a girl named Steph Prince, and Lisa can probably tell you a little more okay. about uh, uh, Steph's background. With She's won a lot of competitions in the States with regards to hip-hop dance, and uh, have you got any more info, please, Lisa? Um, she is actually um, a dance teacher. She dances, she teaches young children to do all mm -hmm. sorts of dances from urban to pop, I think. Um, yeah. she's an absolutely amazing dancer that's why I've had her because she's amazing she's beautiful I can't really say much more than obviously she's beautiful and she's an amazing dancer mm -hmm. yeah and she's dancing in between she's dancing in between performers. Um, performers what's intriguing me is what this Cassandra and Priscilla what's that mm -hmm. about she's beautiful yeah. she she's a young Priscilla mm -hmm. she just looks like the young Priscilla Presley She's beautiful, she's amazing, she's spitting it. I've got a book from when Jace, uh, sorry, from when Elvis and Priscilla <laughs> were young. And it's just, there's so, she's so alike to her now. Oh, she's beautiful. Good chance beautiful to get some girl. pictures with Jason. Yeah, yeah. That'd be definitely. Quite good. Yeah. We have actually got um, the papers coming on the night, too. They'll post in times at 7 pm to take. Some um, group pictures of the performers and of the volunteer helpers who are helping to set up the room. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, um, is there any way people could get in contact with you if they wanted to donate anything or donate any money or they wanted to, you know, get tickets off? Is there any way that they can contact um, you? Yeah, they um, can give them my mobile number. It's zero seven eight three six six two six two four eight. Okay, so yeah, we'll give that out again. That's on the flyer. Uh, we'll get this flyer up on our website as well. So you know, give it a bit more love this week. Fantastic, you know, it'd be fantastic to get it a full house, wouldn't it? Oh, that's it was, what we want yeah. on the night. So yeah, uh, Jason, uh, thank you very much for coming down. Thank Stevie, you, Stevie, you've been very quiet over there. You've been <laughs> full of support though, and Lisa, good luck with it all. Thank you Thanks very much. much. We're going to play one of uh, Jason's songs right now. Thank you very much for coming down. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
the pony, the two upon the shore, three to get ready now. Go, can't go, but don't you, I swear about my blue suede shoes. You can do anything but break off of my blue suede shoes. Well, you can knock me down, stamp on my face, sign on my name all over the place. But do anything that you want to do, but I'll go highly off my shoe. And don't you, I swear about my blue suede shoes. For the money, but you're the father's show. Take it again, ready now. Go, can't go, but don't you. Instead of my blue suede shoe. You can do anything, but break off my blue suede shoe. Today's biggest tune, Six Sounds Radio.